Thanks, Doug. Love that song. <laughs> it's great, great, great. You know, I was thinking as we were going over the prayer list today, um, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. That's great. I'm, I'm uh, thrilled that uh, you, you have at least the measure of help to be here today. And I know, uh, please understand, we've been praying a lot with you. And, and uh, I, I, it's, just, it's just so good. I, I, I can remember at least five names that, uh, that we've, you know, we've wondered if we would see you from week to week. And you're, you're able to be here today, and that's a blessing. We, we appreciate that. We have our children in today as well. Uh, we do family worship during the summer. Uh, isn't it the most pleasant sound in the world to hear a little commotion during worship? Amen. I mean, who wants dead? You know? You, you, you want it dead and peace and quiet and only people your age here. That's really not the family that God designed. You know, He designed for us all to come into His presence and to enjoy that presence. Let me, uh, let me say a word to uh, parents. I'm, I know it's a struggle. Uh, Lucinda and I, well, let me, let me back up a minute. When our girls were little, I was on the pulpit. Lucinda had the kids. So, uh, you know, and she sat on the second row, little wood pews, a little congregation about this size, and, uh, you know, the babies just crawl and talk and do things all during church while I'm trying to preach. And I'm like, number one, I'm used to it. But number two, it is a pleasant thing. And number three, your goal is not simply to keep them quiet. In fact, please give up on that. That's not going to happen. You know. So the more you try, you, have you, you know, you've done this, right? You, you think, I can keep them quiet for 30 minutes. <laughs> you can't. You know. Your goal is to engage them for whatever moments you can. We picked out the Lord's Supper. Actually, that was a time when I could sit with them. We had two girls. One of us would have one. One would have the other. And we would whisper to our children during the Lord's Supper, what's going on, what we're thinking about. Let them feel how quiet our body was as they sat in our lap and not moving around doing all the things. And we stopped the coloring and we stopped the activities. And do that periodically during worship because, no, they're not going to be able to do an hour of this, but can they do it four or five times during an hour? You bet they can. Even the youngest ones can. Engage them. Work it. It's, uh, it's worth it. And I, uh, I say those things, I, <laughs> I plan to have that prayer this morning with the kids. Little did I know they were going to just give the great introduction to my lesson this morning. In fact, it's not an introduction, it'll be, it'll be inside uh, the lesson. I want to go into um, a theme with you. Come worship Christ the King, Alleluia, hallelujah. 